How's it going my fellow guardians? Welcome to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to unlock the new All-Star Vector as well as how to permanently unlock it and keep it forever. If you find any of the info in this video useful, you can support me by getting this video to 20 likes. I post Destiny videos every week on the channel, so if you're new, subscribe and turn on the bell icon to never miss out on my future uploads. Now without any further ado, let's jump right into the guide. To begin your quest for the All-Star Vector, you first need to visit Grandma Levante at the tower. Speak with Grandma Levante to receive the new Guardian Games class item and the quest best in class. This is the quest you must first complete in order to get the quest for the exotic All-Star Vector. To progress your quest, buy a contender card from Eva Levante. This will update your quest and now you need to play any of the Guardian Games playlist activities with the Guardian Games class item equipped. So equip the Guardian Games class item and complete an activity from the Guardian Games playlist to finish this step. A quick tip, if you have last year's Guardian Games class item, you might be able to unlock it as a transmog with synth weave. This means you can keep your normal class item equipped whilst being able to earn medallions from all activities. After you complete an activity from the Guardian Games playlist, your quest will update and now you need to head back to the tower and speak to Eva. She will give you a medallion case then your quest will update. Now you need to deposit the medallion you earn from the activity at your class specific podium. Your quest will update again and now you need to claim your first challenge from the new event card. After you claim your first challenge from the event card, your quest will update and you will need to go and speak to Zavala and Lord Shax to further progress your quest. Now head back to Eva to conclude the quest best in class and claim your reward. Eva Levante will now give you a new quest called Drop-In. Collecting the quest Drop-In will grant you a temporary all-star vector that you can equip and use until the end of this event. Now in order to upgrade this hoverboard to an exotic and keep it forever, you must complete the quest Drop-In before the event ends. There are three objectives within this quest and only one needs to be completed to finish the quest and claim the all-star vector exotic. The first objective is to get 1000 1200 medallion score which can take hours if not days to grind. This objective is one that you would do over the course of three weeks. The second objective is to earn a top 10% score in nightfall challenges. And the final objective is to open your focus activity packages which are new rewards with the event that you receive for participating in focus activities. So the most time efficient and easiest objective that you can complete under 20 minutes and claim your all-star vector is earning a top 10% score in nightfall challenges. This may sound difficult but I'll walk you right through it. You first need to launch the Guardian Games competitive Nightfall activity. Within this activity are Yellow Bar and Champion enemies. Defeating these enemies in particular gives you a lot of points towards your score. Now in order to get a top 10% score, you must get at least 210,000 plus score in a single Nightfall run. So to achieve this, either play with randoms as it has matchmaking, create an LFG or play solo. The main objective within this Nightfall is to get the Yellow Bar and Champion enemies low on health so they blink and are ready to be finisher killed. Now before finisher killing the yellow bar and champion enemies, you want to emote then finisher kill them which will give you bonus points. For every yellow bar enemy you emote then finish, you get nearly 5000 points. And as for champions, you get around 9000 points. So for this objective, all you need to do is run the guardian games nightfall activity and emote then finisher kill all the yellow bar and champion enemies. The reason you emote is because you earn the medal insult to injury which gives you a lot of points. Keep in mind that the champions and yellow bars are very squishy considering it's only 1770 power so avoid nuking them. Additionally you can get even more points by earning medals. You earn medals from multi streak, weapons and elemental multi kills. To view the medals tab head to your collections and click on the medals under records. Make sure to switch to the vanguard tab and here you'll find the various medals you can earn. Easiest medals to earn is super multi kills and elemental multi kills. So when running the nightfall make sure to use your super and abilities to get multi kills. Now depending on the surge modifier you should also use the matching subclass to earn elemental multi kills. Matching your weapon elements to the surge modifier will also allow you to earn elemental multi kill medals. For example at the moment we have solar and stasis surge therefore using sun braces with the sun shot and spamming your grenades would get you a lot of medals. So my final advice is to match your subclass to the surge modifier and get elemental and super multi kills whilst emote finisher killing the champions and mini bosses. This should allow you to rack up a high score and achieve the top 10% score in Nightfall challenges. Upon earning a high score and completing the Nightfall, your quest will auto complete and your white all-star vector will get replaced with the upgraded exotic all-star vector. Remember this is all about strategy and not just about rushing through and killing everything. Thank you Guardian if you've watched this far in the video. This new hoverboard is definitely worth acquiring as it's so much fun and it's much faster than Sparrows. I hope this guide helps all Guardians to earn their new and shiny hoverboard. Let me know your thoughts on a new hoverboard and if you have any questions 
questions, leave them in the comments below. Now, if you found this video helpful, you can support me by getting this video to 20 likes. I'm also on the road to 15k subscribers, so if you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on the bell icon to never miss my future uploads. You can also support me by watching another one of my videos to help the algorithm push more of my uploads to fellow Guardians. Anyway, Guardians, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and as always, peace out.